It was good to be here. Me and my buddy got in yesterday. We did a set uh, in La Jolla, and we, we ordered an Uber from the hotel, and the Uber got there. And what I think the driver was trying to text me was, hello, I'm outside. Right? Text I got from dude was, help, I'm outside. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> All right, well, 100% just going to cancel this Uber and order a lift. <laughs> Serious, dude? Trying to get to a show. Come out there and fight crime. <laughs> Worth the $10 cancellation fee to never know what happened to that man. You know what I mean? <laughs> R.I.P., dude. The rest of the set might be too dark for California, but we're going to try it. You know I mean? We're going to dip our toes in. You, let me ask you this. Do you guys ever wonder if maybe like we're already in hell and it's like not that bad? <laughs> Do you ever think about that? You know, like sometimes it's super bad. You're like, this is hell for sure. <laughs> but then sometimes you're like, wait a minute, dude, this water park sells beer? Fucking, maybe this isn't hell, dude. <laughs> I mean, like a loving God wouldn't do this to us, but this right here, well, this is all right, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like anybody ever wait tables? Anybody, any servers? <laughs> a few, hell yeah, dude. So if you've done that, you know, at the very least, we're probably in purgatory, you know? Like <laughs> people are such animals at restaurants. Like, dude, <laughs> I waited on this lady one time, and she was like, I was like, hey, can I get you something to drink? She was like, yeah, I'd like a glass of wine. I was like, all right. She goes, I don't like red. I was like, okay, we have white wine. She goes, I don't like white either. I was like, all right, dude, well then go to jail. I don't know. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave your house if this is how you behave in public. <laughs> or just bars and, yeah, like, do you ever walk into a bar and just like wish they would bring back the draft? <laughs> you know? <laughs> we have too many of the same guys. Enough Jeffs from finance, you know what I mean? We don't need, <laughs> go serve your country, Jeff. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Rich dicks. Dude, speaking of that, I, I don't know why, like, I keep, Instagram keeps showing me this thing in my feed. It's about this dude who's, like, reverse aging himself. Does anybody see this dude? Yeah. yeah. Right? Okay, like, he looks horrifying, by the way. He looks like a, like a teenage seal or something. I don't know. <laughs> but he keeps showing it to me. He's, like, 45, but really he's 40 because he's doing all these things to reverse age himself. And one of the things he's doing is he's getting blood transfusions from his 17-year-old son, right? This guy's nodding. He gets it. Dude, the article I read called it his blood boy. That's hell, dude. That's definitely hell, you know? <laughs> Day one of hell, they're like, hey, welcome to hell, dude. Give your blood to your dad. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Here's another thing that maybe... Do you know that suicide used to be illegal? That's so funny to me, dude. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's just so hilarious to me that the government was like, no, you have to stay. Uh, <laughs> everyone's doing it. No fair. <laughs> Also, if you successfully do it, kind of the perfect crime. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, you can't, ha ha. And you're just like, you never catch me, copper. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm already in hell with fucking Janis Joplin or whoever used to be cool. Yeah, it's, the darker you get, the more you guys are pulling back. And that's fair. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's okay. We can lighten it up a little bit. Anybody else here got red hair besides me and Brad? No? Okay, no brave souls. I mean, it'd be hard to live in California with red hair. It's fucking bad. Dude, I did, this, I did this joke in Miami a couple weeks ago and it was like a full club. I was like, anyone have red hair? And this girl in the second row goes, ugh, no. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Yeah, dude, people love making fun of redheads, which is such a nice thing to do to people with a disease. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not a disease, but it is a mutation that has to do with like vitamin D and melanin and the sun and boy howdy does no one give a single fuck about any of that. <laughs> love to trash us, dude. Like, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, and I used to get made fun of all the time. And, like, I didn't... Like, the first time I heard fire crotch, I'd never heard that term before, right? <laughs> I also didn't even have pubes. Like, it was... Okay. <laughs> like, I was an idiot. Like, I knew pubes would happen to me, but, like, because I saw my dad's hog, so I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, happened. <laughs> but I never connected the dots. They would be red. And, spoiler alert, that's what fucking happens, you know? <laughs> so some kid was like, shut up, fire crotch. And I was like, okay, idiot. What does that even mean? <laughs> He's like, it means you have red pubes. And I was like, fuck, dude. Is that going to happen to me? God damn it. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, I had like no comeback. What do you say to that? Like, no, dude, I'm actually fucking still hairless, dude. Like what? <laughs> I don't even fucking have balls, dude. Who's a loser now, dude? What's up? I got smooth ass, slippery dolphin balls, son. What's good? <laughs> Also, we were in like fourth grade, so like, who's rocking Bush right now, dude? Are you guys? I was like, are we doing pubes? Nobody told me, dude. Somebody, are you have pubes? Somebody show me your dick, dude. We're still fifth grade hogs out. Let me peep. Also, I'm pretty sure we're the only group of people that it's still socially acceptable to just openly trash all day long. Like, everyone else is like, hey, you can't say that anymore. Yeah, we don't. We don't call them that anymore. 
Yeah, we don't say sexless loser anymore. We say asexual. Yeah. <laughs> That's the A in the TBQAA. Yeah. And then redheads are like, who are those ginger queefs? <laughs> okay, fucking pink freaks. <laughs> and here's what I will say in defense of people that hate redheads is there's like not a single place in the world, not a restaurant or a venue or a gathering place where if you walked in there and it was packed with redheads, you'd be like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Nowhere, like not even a bagpipe concert would you be stoked for that. Like, <laughs> you know like if you go to a Chinese restaurant and it's like full of Chinese people, you're like, fuck yeah, we nailed this, dude. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> If you walk in anywhere and it's packed with redheads, you're gonna be like, yo, dude, we gotta scoot. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I don't know what's happening in here. I think the devil is about to show up. Are they gonna light a dog on fire or something? <laughs> Whatever this is, this is fucking not cool, dude. Time to go. Um, I like animals a lot. I watch a lot of animal documentaries. And like, sometimes I'll get stoned and watch it and it always bums me out that the camera people cannot help any of the animals that are in trouble, ever. Like, I'm not, I know they can't because of science, but like, and I'm not, I don't care about all of them. Like, you know, the, the wildebeest with the alligator, I don't care about them. But like, not even the babies, dude. You can't even, help, like, they'll be like, these baby birds are three days old. All will die from snakes. <laughs> I'm like, what, dude? Help them. You're right there. Get those fucking snakes out of here. I like, whenever they show like, like sea turtles being born, they'll be like, there are 11 of these sea turtles left in the world. And then there's like between three and four million being born on the beach. And as they hatch, the whole beach turns into like a buffet for like wolves and eagles and shit. And like if those camera people would just like put it on a tripod and just start firing those little baby turtles into the sea. If they would do their, like do their part, I think we could use plastic straws forever. You know what I mean? Like, get them out there. Help them. Dude, speaking of birds, here's a fun thing that uh, me and birds have in common is that we both exclusively have diarrhea. <laughs> Pretty cool. Not for me, but it's cool for birds. <laughs> and it's cool for everybody. It's cool for society. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine if birds didn't only have diarrhea? The whole world would be different. <laughs> if birds were taking, like, beefy fucking logs all the time, dude, <laughs> buildings would be different, cars would be built, like, you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't... <laughs> our whole world would be a different story, dude. Like if birds were constantly just raining down like just fucking fat logs, dude. Like some birds are huge. Some birds are like bigger than dogs. They're like big, you know, from up there. Like, and they're, some are fat. Like, dude, a peregrine falcon tops out at like 200 miles an hour. Like if that thing took a shit going 200 miles an hour and it was like a load, dude, like that would kill a man. It would go through your sternum. Like, so yeah, it's great. Oh, man, I'll get out of here in a sec. <laughs> Are you watching porn? Yeah, right? California? Yeah. Isn't it all, like, made here, I think? I don't know. I watch porn. I watch a little bit, like a small amount, I think. I don't know. I have friends that watch so much. Like, I don't know. Like, I have buddies that follow porn like it's a fucking NBA season. They, like, <laughs> know everyone's names, and they're on there for three hours. And, like, for me, I'm just like, hey, I just want to peek in here for, like, 20 minutes, see a couple of thick milfs, and I'll get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> Back to my day. And, like... Even from the small amount of porn that I watch, like judging by like the ads on the side or like the videos that play beforehand sometimes, like, I don't know, I feel like maybe I'm one of the only men in America without some kind of like fucking masturbation machine. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's like a flashlight, but there's like a motor on it now. And they're like, yeah, you put lube in this end and diesel fuel in that end. <laughs> Fuck this thing. <laughs> and they look insane. Like it doesn't look like you should put a penis anywhere near these things. <laughs> It looks like a tool you would use to clean like the bottom of a boat to get like <laughs> barnacles off or something. And like the advertising is so intense and aggressive. It's just like in your face and like macho. It's just like, hey, what the, hey, what the fuck? What, are you still jerking off with your own hand? What are you, dumb and gay? That's a dude's hand. <laughs> you need the fucking Hog Smasher 5000, dude. <laughs> Put your dick in here. <laughs> we combine aerospace technology and gas station car wash engineering. <laughs> To make sure you fucking come so hard you'll pass out and your dick will be hamburger meat, you loser. <laughs> Put your dick in this thing. Leave a review. <laughs> Introduce yourself to other guys who left reviews. <laughs> You're a brotherhood now. I don't have one of those. You guys, that'll do it for me. I've been Matty Ryan. Keep it going for Red.